So I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I look after patients who need um, parts of their bones removed from time to time. The sorts of situations are patients with cancer of the bone or after injury or sometimes when we have to exchange joints that have become diseased from degeneration. So in this situation, we look to newer ways of replacing these parts and what technology allows us these days is a way of building them through advanced manufacturing. What we have now are computers that drive 3D printers allowing us to make parts of machineries. I see just round the corner the ability to create parts of bones that I will need right in the room next door to surgery. Peter and I met about two and a half years ago and he approached us and he says, all right, you guys know something about manufacturing. I have a problem. And the problem is, uh, as he put it, he says, I operate on patients with cancerous bones. And let's say, for example, they get a bone growth here. And that requires me to cut this part of the bone out. And the thigh bone is shaped in a very complex way to take the stresses when you bear weight on it, when you move, when you run. And he said, what I would like to, to know if it's possible for me to remove a section of this hip right, and for you guys to basically manufacture uh, this part, the part of the hip that's, that I've removed and in the minimum possible time. So we have set up a project where we use our 3D printers and we can design a structure to fit exactly in that space that Peter would normally remove. And the property of that structure is such that it can carry the same load, uh, it will also allow tissue to ingrow in that uh, implant. The most important thing is we have to produce something that is safe and re reliable for our patients. And that is put it through some rigorous biologic testing, taking the materials and the part that the materials make and testing it on cells and tissue from uh, uh, an experimental uh, model in, a, in an animal, say. And the specific tests that we're looking for really are the ways in which bone or soft tissue such as muscles or tendons grow into the structure. So what we would do is basically scan, use a laser scanner to scan this volume of the bone that's been removed in surgery we would then get the file downloaded to uh, RMIT or, 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 a, or a commercial operation. And then we would basically, based on that scan, make an implant that fits exactly in this part of the bone right? and has the same properties as the, the bone that's been removed. So the patient can continue having a, I guess, healthy and, and, and you know, prosperous life. And what we would yeah. do is we would fix this yeah. implant here yeah. via little tabs that might have screws in them wires, holding it in position as the bone eventually grows through the structure, incorporating it into one. <laughs> <laughs> You'd so specialized, you know, thank heavens that people like me are around. Yeah, right. <laughs>